Now that we're done writing the body of our essay, let's explore how to write the conclusion. This part is like the bottom bun of our hamburger, simultaneously holding together the inner pieces of our entire essay and giving our readers a way to hold on to all those pieces too. All we have to do to write the conclusion is restate our thesis and offer our final thoughts. Let's see how. We'll start by reshaping our thesis statement into different words to remind readers of what our main point was. Remember, way back in his introduction, Preston's thesis statement was this. But the theme of Waverly's story is that despite life's obstacles, we have to keep pressing forward, and that theme reveals itself to readers in three main ways, through the story of the wind, through the metaphor of the animal stuck in the shop, and through the metaphor of chess. So, Preston took that same idea and just expressed it in a different way to open his conclusion. Here's his first sentence for the conclusion, which restates his thesis in a fresh new way. Taken all together, those three things, the story of the wind, the animal stuck in the shop, and the metaphor of chess, all signify the theme that we must push forward through life's obstacles, that we can't let ourselves give up when we get stuck. But he's not quite finished with his conclusion because he's got to offer his final thoughts to the reader. Here they are. When Waverly feels crushed and stifled by her mother, she imagines herself rising up and flying out of her window, finding the same kind of inner strength or magic that we all have and that we all need to use. Now you try it. Write your conclusion, thinking of it as the bottom bun of your delicious essay hamburger. Look back at the thesis statement that you wrote and rewrite it in a fresh new way for the first sentence of your conclusion. Then offer readers your final thoughts. Imagine you're talking to a good friend and you've just finished explaining the main theme of the story. What else would you say to give your friend something meaningful to think about? Write that down and you're done with your conclusion. Let's sum up that whole process of writing a five paragraph essay. Your essay has an introduction several body paragraphs, here we had three, and a conclusion. The introduction grabbed your reader's attention, gave background information, and offered a precise thesis statement that answers the essay question. Each of your body paragraphs explored the supporting pieces of that thesis statement, and each contained a topic sentence, detail sentences, and a final sentence to link the idea back to the thesis statement. And in the conclusion, you reshaped your thesis statement and offered some final thoughtful ideas. We're done! Today we explored how to write a five paragraph essay based on a given question. We envisioned our essay as a delicious hamburger and that helped us visualize all the components of the essay and how we can structure them into a cohesive whole. Now that we're comfortable with the basic structure of this kind of essay, we're free to experiment with our writing, add creative touches like analogies and figurative language, and keep on creating clear, readable, fascinating pieces of writing that instruct and delight our readers.